Hong Kong today is an international metropolis. To keep ahead of an increasingly stiff competition, businesses and industries must evolve constantly. Failure to do so means being left behind. Working in such an environment might be likened to deep sea diving. People are under enormous pressure. the owner of a printing business. He's the kind of person who likes to adopt a hands-on approach, and he sometimes finds himself working day and night. With a constant lack of sleep, he's suffering from all kinds of aches and pains, as if he's been in a boxing match. This is Kenny, Ben's son. He works for a web page design company. He's an IT man, as they're called today. Again, he often works day and night. He's only in his early 20s, but is already worrying about his receding hairline, and that one day he may end up as bald as a coot. This is Alice, Ben's daughter. She was out of work for a number of months, and has only recently found a job with a trading company. She's an intelligent woman, but, being in middle management, she's often caught up in the politics between administration and workers. As a result, she's often irritable, her skin is bad, as is the condition of her hair. Why is the state circled in red? I have no idea. Could it be your birthday? Come on, what on earth's up with you, Dad? Can't you even remember our birthdays? Hey, I'm late for work. I've no time to talk. Hey! Yes, of course I remember. Idiot! I received a letter from your Auntie Pat. A cousin of hers is coming to Hong Kong. I've got to pick her up from the airport on the 10th. The 10th is today. The 10th was yesterday. How huh? could you forget? What's she going to say? What do we do? She never called us. Where could she have gone? That might be her now. That couldn't be. Can I help you, miss? You must be Alice, right? That's right. And you? <laughs> I'm Auntie Pat's cousin. I arrived last night an hour late, and I'd lost your telephone number, so I checked into a hotel for the night. However, I found your address, and so I came straight over. If you're her cousin, you're our aunt. <laughs> Oh, well, we're really only distant cousins. Actually, I've never met her. That's right. You never told us about her. That's right. Well, I think Aunt Pat once mentioned years ago that I had a young aunt somewhere, a very young aunt. <laughs> yeah, it was in a letter. However, with all the work, I've forgotten. <laughs> it's okay. You can just call me Sam if you like, but not Auntie. I'm not that old. Auntie, I mean, Sam, we have to go to work. We can't hang around, I'm afraid. Oh, no, it's all right. You go right ahead. Okay. I tell you what, come with me and you can see the print shop. All right. Come in. It's very small here. It really is a nice factory, Uncle. Uh, Just a bit noisy. You don't have to call me Uncle. Just call me Ben. Right, Ben. Uh, come on, then. Uh, meet the manager, Richard. He's in charge here. She's my auntie. <laughs> Sam will do just fine. Hello there. Richard, would you show Sam around the place, huh? Sure. Hey, John, let me do that. You go help out over there. <laughs> no, be careful. Huh? You'll hurt yourself lifting things like that. Didn't you know you must always lift keeping your back straight? That way... Yes, I know. Listen, I got a lot to do this morning. Why don't you just go look around? Uncle Ben, you do work very hard. <laughs> I have to do everything myself. To be honest, I have no choice. Checking your email? Yes. We receive orders by email nowadays. That's why I'm checking it. You know, this is the information age. It's keep ahead or else you fall behind. Oh, no! 
But, sir, you erased all the email. No way. If you didn't, then where is it? Uh, it must be a bug in the computer. Call the company and ask them to fax the order. Uh, that's all right. You can retrieve it by doing undelete. Like that. Sure, I knew that. Go ahead and print out the order, huh? Right. <sighs> Good stuff are hard to find nowadays. Ben, I think you did accidentally erase the mail. <sighs> hey, look. I'm 50 years old, all right? I don't learn quickly like I used to. <sighs> the thing is, it's hard to admit it. The workers would look down on me. It's tough running a business, especially nowadays. I don't know how long we'll hold out. Excuse me, here's the order. Oh. Wow, we're never gonna make that deadline. Don't worry, at least you got their order. Boss. Huh? Sir, here's my notice, I quit. What? You can't resign now, I just received a big order. Well, I never learned much here. I'd rather resign. I'm still young enough. I'll try my luck elsewhere. But Sang, you're doing really well, why do you want to quit? Let's sit down. The two of us can talk this over. Hey, you know that mobile phone you recommended? It's really good. There. You see? It's just like I told you. I can't rely on the staff. Huh. Hey, wait! It's not like that! <sighs> I'm gonna have to do it. Why don't you go have lunch with Kenny? His office is next door, huh? Okay. All right. Stand aside. Let me do it. It's not like that. No, you do it this way. He employs me as his manager, but he still does everything himself. Just look at him. He should just let you handle the problem. <laughs> yeah, but he does everything himself and it creates a tense atmosphere in the company. Just turn right. Kenny's right over there. Thanks. Kenny! Oh, Auntie. Uh. Sam. How about some lunch? I'm sorry. A big job just came in this morning, and we're flat out. Look, I'm sorry. I just can't leave my desk. But the other people here don't seem to be that busy. <sighs> well, they're different. How are they different? Well, most of them are overseas graduates, so the boss likes them. I'm not, so I'll be the first to be laid off. Why are they cutting back? The high-tech bubbles burst not just in Hong Kong. Dot-com companies are starting to fold like a house of cards. So it's only a matter of time. It isn't that bad, is it? If we don't fold, they'll be downsizing. The boss doesn't pay much attention to me, so if I don't work and put in overtime, he won't feel I'm worth anything, and I'll be the first laid off. So you're having lunch in the office? What's that, a ham sandwich? No, it's leftover breakfast. It tastes awful. But I can't afford to go out and eat. But that's the IT business. With the advanced technology and software changing every day, it's getting more complicated, so I have to work hard to stay ahead or I'll be left behind. Look, I'm sorry, Sam. I'll see you later at dinner. Oh, I'm working overtime. Maybe I'll be late. Mark, can you finish these papers before you leave? There's no way I can finish in time. It'll have to wait till tomorrow. Just try your best. Hey, ask Dick. He's got time. Dick is not as meticulous. That's why I'm asking you to do it. As always, the best ones are submerged. While the mediocre ones don't do a thing all day. Do this for me. I'll go get you some tea. Thanks, but no thanks. Hey, that's weird. Where did you find my wallet? I didn't even know I'd lost it. It's good you'd found it. I have everything in it, not just money. It would have been a hassle getting my cards cancelled. It was really lucky. I saw you drop it in the street. I tried to call you, but I guess you didn't hear me, so I followed you to the office. To be honest, I've been in such a rush lately. The boss didn't have lunch, so I bought him a sandwich at the takeaway. Then he told me he wasn't hungry. Sometimes I think he does it on purpose. But he didn't ask you to do it, so you didn't have to do it. If I wait for him to ask, he'll think I'm not efficient. 
Look, you see, on my desk here, I have a mountain of work. Most of the others aren't up to the standard, so I have to follow up on everything they do. And if I don't follow it up myself, I'm the one who gets the blame. Say, Alice, can you give Ivy the papers for the Tai Sang order? Why is that, Michael? Surely that's good. You'll have less work to do. No, it isn't good. I don't know why he doesn't leave the job with me. Maybe he doesn't trust me. Or else, maybe he thinks I'm not efficient. Yes, I bet that's it. What shall I do? What's the matter? You see? Hmm? Talking about me again. It's tough being in the middle, you know that? One side is always on your back. The other side won't cooperate. And I'm stuck right in the middle. Hello? Yes? Damn prank calls. See what I mean, Sam? I even get harassed on the phone now. You talk about pressure. I've only been here a few days, so I'm still adjusting. Hong Kong moves very fast. Everyone's on edge. Uncle Ben's family? <laughs> They're all very busy, and they all work very hard, of course. I've got to go. They're back already. Of course. Bye-bye. Hi there. Dinner's ready. Do you want to eat now? Wow. What are you doing? You didn't have to cook for us. Oh, don't be silly. I'm getting free food and board. Why shouldn't I? Hey, I brought a video while I was shopping today. It's a comedy. <laughs> Isn't it funny? I got work to do. You working this late? Yeah, I gotta make sure we meet the deadline. I have to start another run. Oh, yeah. Didn't I have something to do? Oh, yeah. The New York job. Uh, what on earth's wrong with everyone? Sam has made dinner for us and bought us a video, and all you can do is run away. It's okay. Oh. Dreamweaver, firework, streaming, web page, loading, HTML, flash floor, flash floor. Ah! Uh, oh! What's wrong, Uncle Ben? You all right? Goodness, my back's killing me! Stay where you are. Don't try to get up. You see, didn't I tell you it was important to have correct posture, but you wouldn't listen, would you? I'll go and call the doctor. No! My work's not finished. I have to get back to the factory, thanks. Come on, you've got to go to work. You can't pretend to be sick. I don't want to go to that office. I don't want to see those horrible people. I'm under a lot of pressure lately. Alice, what is wrong with you? Why don't you want to go to work? Listen, it's not easy to get a good job these days. You've got to give it your best. Uh, oh. oh, are you all right? Uh, What's uh, up? Didn't you sleep? I'm all right. You ought to take the day off. No, no, leave me. I'll be okay. Uh, it's late. I have to get going. Oh, let's go. I'm staying let's here. go. Stop it, all of you! Look, nobody's going to work today. Hey, listen to me. After all, I'm your family, right? I want you to listen to what I have to say. I really think you have a problem here. Other people don't work like you. You'll drive yourselves into your graves. But you've seen yourself. We're under pressure to perform, otherwise we lose our jobs. Right. Well, I think you're partly to blame for this pressure. There are ways you can relieve pressure, you know. There, there are? Take you, for example, Uncle. You may be the boss, but I've never seen a boss work like you do. You need to make some changes to the way you do things. For a start, the working environment. You can reduce the noise level, improve the lighting and the air quality in the workshop. All this can help to create a more relaxed atmosphere and so reduce pressure. In a better environment, people work better. You'll soon recoup your investment. Uncle Ben, you should try to delegate. In some cases, you can let your employees make the decisions. Using sensible delegation, let the staff take part in the decision making and problem solving. Then you don't have to do everything yourself. You're not Superman, you can't do everything yourself. You're only killing yourself with work. While the staff feel you don't trust them. 
The competition in business is intense. To meet a deadline, you need cooperation from the staff. Uncle Ben, if you'd like to talk to them about the problems, I'm sure they would cooperate. The world is changing rapidly, and we must also change with it. We need to improve our knowledge and not be shy to admit when we don't know. As long as you retain a competitive edge, nobody will look down on you, and the atmosphere in the workplace will be more relaxed. Kenny, you're a capable young man, but you're just too uptight about things. If you want to reduce the pressure at your work, the first thing you have to do is make sure your work area is tidy. You must systemize your work. That way, you'll be able to find everything easily. Next, make better use of your time. Jot down on paper the jobs you have to do and prioritize them. Then do them one by one. This way, you won't get all panicky and confused. Also, you must have more confidence in yourself. Overseas graduates do not necessarily do a better job than you. Don't ever think you're not as good as them. As for the company's future, it's not something you can control, so it's no good worrying about it. The main thing is to talk to your colleagues, friends, and family. You'll get support from them. If you have doubts about your performance and wonder what the boss will think of you, then talk to the boss directly and ask him. In fact, the new generation of bosses prefer open communication. They want to know what their staff think. If you want to further your education and don't know what courses to take, ask your senior for advice to find out what courses would help you in your present position within the company. When the boss realizes that you're interested in bettering yourself for the company, he'll back you up and help you choose the right path. And as for Alice, I know you're under a great deal of pressure. It's difficult being in middle management. You need to satisfy your staff's needs. But on the other hand, you have to follow the boss's orders. You're in the unenviable position of being caught between your boss and the staff. You're right in the middle and have to perform a delicate balancing act. You're under pressure from your boss to perform, but you'll also be under pressure if you don't have a good working relationship with your colleagues. Of course, a close working relationship with your colleagues is vital for cooperation. Your roles sometimes overlap, and when there is no cooperation, conflicts can arise. Being in middle management, you have to be good with your colleagues, be fair and unbiased, and show them that they're important to you. You must be an example to others and let them know that it doesn't matter whether they are senior or junior staff. People must respect each other. We're all human. We all want to be treated fairly. So just give it some time. You'll succeed. You should communicate more, both with your seniors and the people under you. It doesn't have to be all business, of course. You can talk about other things. The main thing is to keep the communication channels open so you can follow up on your staff's work progress. Let your staff take the initiative. It's easier that way to maintain a good working relationship. With a good work culture, the staff will be encouraged to take responsibilities. With a good relationship and improved atmosphere, you won't feel going to work is such a burden. Do you want to talk, Alice? No, it's no use. Don't keep bottling things up. Hey, I see you like Jackie Chung, huh? <laughs> Let's talk about you, though. You know, living under constant pressure can cause many illnesses. Illnesses such as depression, insomnia, high blood pressure, and heart disease. So you have to be careful. People who are under constant pressure often worry about things for no reason whatsoever. And they can become plagued by negative emotions. Sometimes depression, or anger, or experience violent mood swings. Hey, that sounds like me. You think so too, huh? Not only can these symptoms lead to major impacts on your health and your relationship with your close family, they can also ruin your career. Yes, I realize that. And what you said this morning, I agree with all of that. But it's difficult to take the necessary steps. It's hard to change. The first step is always difficult, but I'm certain you can do it. Oh, Michael, if you don't mind, I'd like to talk to you about the work schedule. Okay, come to my office. Okay. Hey, Mark, we're going to have a meeting about Green Mix Project, okay? okay. Wow, it's nearly 8.30. Shall we continue tomorrow? It's okay. We're nearly finished. I've nearly done my bit, too. I'd like to finish it off. Yes, let's get it all finished tonight. Mm. Oh. 
Oh, well, thank you. That's really nice of you all. I guess I'd better buy you all dinner afterwards. Oh, great. Oh, great. <laughs> You stay with him. I'll get an ambulance. Anybody know first aid here? Yes, I do. I used to do first aid. Don't worry. Uh huh. Uh -huh. What are you doing? <laughs> Which one of you spilled ink on the floor? I slipped on it. You, you spilled, spilled it. it. Oh. <sighs> oh well. I've been away. Place must be a mess. Richard's capable. He can handle it. Are you saying I chose the right man? Like the Emperor? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Majesty. <sighs> I thought with that big order, there'd be total chaos in the workshop. Stop being so nervous, all right? If you carry on like this, you'll pass the pressure on to the staff and it coping quite nicely. <sighs> now look at the difference. Since you've been away, you've had to delegate the work. There's more job satisfaction, so the staff are happy, and they don't feel the pressure. They're more efficient and enjoy a less stressful environment. And they're not the only ones with less pressure on them, right? You're right. <laughs> you're very clever, aren't you? Not only clever, you have a sweet voice, and you're pretty too, and you have a lucky face. <laughs> Good morning, sir. Good morning, Richard. Is the order ready? Oh, uh, yeah. I've booked the delivery trucks already. Once the target was set, I just let the men do it. They're much more motivated that way. You're very clever, aren't you? Not only clever. You have a sweet voice, and you're pretty too, and have a lucky face. Auntie, no, I mean Sam. Of course, I realize you may be a good theorist, but I really don't want you to talk to the manager. This is Hong Kong and not Canada. Ah, uh, one of the plugs had come loose. No wonder there's no connection. Uh, sir. I believe that the management should communicate more with the staff members. Jimmy was one of my classmates in Canada. If you have a question, don't be shy now. Go ahead and ask it. What? You mean you and he... This is too much. Just I'm confused. Down. Sam here told me about you and your colleagues' concerns. You don't have to worry about it. It's true. Business isn't booming. But still, our company's doing quite well. I think you'll get your month's bonus. Really? That's wonderful. To be honest, some of the guys were so worried we lost interest in our work. <laughs> what did I tell you? It's always important to voice your concerns. Good communication can ease the pressure and also enhance productivity, right? In fact, I'm happy you came to talk to me. Your ideas and your way of doing things could be of interest to me. Take the boss of DigiVideo. He's really pleased with your design. I'm promoting you to the post of senior designer. You're kidding! It's not Candid Camera? I can't believe this! <laughs> I'll issue a formal promotion notice later. Kenny, you want to study 3D animation, but software like that's reserved for big production companies, not outfits like us. We have to watch our expenditure. You just have to stick with Flash for now. Keep up the good work. Thank you, sir. I will, sir. Thank you again. Pointing out a clear direction for further staff education will save precious time and company resources. It's also an efficient way to reduce stress levels in the staff members. You guys continue, please. I'm doing some research. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> oh. Exercise, maintaining your body, together with a healthy uh. mind, are great stress reducers. Uh. And communication with your family and sorting out the problems mm. helps to share the burden. It helps fight stress. You're so, so long-winded. And you're getting more like an auntie every day. Stop uh, calling me auntie, will you? Right. You annoyed her. <laughs> yes, who is it? Hello, sir. You want Sam? 
Sure, she's here. Hold on. Bye, sir. Yes? Hello? Something's cooking here, if you ask me. My boss wants you to do some more research for him, huh? That's right. <laughs> okay, yes. I'll be in touch with you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Many people tend to think that stress is just a matter of psychology or even personality. They think that if you're strong enough, you can bear with it and pull through. However, there's a limit to a person's endurance. Whether we're a company boss, in middle management, or a simple employee, we must make the effort to try to understand stress and enhance our abilities to deal with it. There are many ways of going about it, like for example, personal analysis, or maybe simply trying to relax more or improving communication with the family. At work, it's important to know how to schedule work and your time, improve the working environment, and also do enough exercise. In terms of work, if you're a company boss, you should always try to avoid putting invisible stress on staff. If the working environments and staff relationships are relaxed, everybody is happy, and therefore they will work more efficiently.